Hello guys, my name is JP, and welcome back to Life on Block City. Finally, it's been a long couple of weeks. Uh, if not longer than that, I haven't been able to record in two weeks. So I imagine it's probably been three weeks since an episode, a uh, real episode anyways. <coughs> so I'd like to explain a few things from while I was gone. I had put up a lot of Magic the Gathering videos and a video of my friend eating things. Uh, I called him D-Bag. That is short for his real name, which I won't say, because I'm not sure if you'd want me to or anything. But uh, his name starts with a D, and I decided he needed a nickname, so I call him D-Bag for the sake of my videos. It's simpler. Uh, he's just a friend from uh, for a few years now that I play Magic with at work. Oh, landed in the pool. I play magic with at work, and sometimes, oh, we just we get uh, lunch a lot and stuff. So that's what that all that was. And I swear that salsa that I had him eat is the hottest thing I've ever had to deal with. So I don't know how the hell he ate it. My girlfriend assumes that he is an alien, which sounds about right. He's not normal. He's from Louisiana. That boy ain't right. Alright, another thing I wanted to go on about is, obviously I am back to recording, so I have a new computer. I want to go over the co new computer a little bit, because I found it interesting when I got this computer that I'm able to record with it at all, much less so easily. Uh, the new computer is a, I almost said Dell, HP Pavilion 500. I forget the exact model number, but it's a Pavilion 500 which not really top of the line. The specs on it are... It comes with a 1.5 terabyte 7200 RPM a hard drive. So plenty of space. Lots of space, actually. It's more space I've ever, than I've ever owned. Uh, it comes with 8 gigabytes of... I think it was... I don't remember if it was... 1600 megahertz uh, DDR3 RAM, which is not bad for the price I got it. Of course, I had the leftover RAM from my uh, Alienware, and it had two extra slots. I boosted it up to 12 gigabytes of RAM, which is having a massive performance boost for me. I know what I want to do, so I need to go over there and do it. Dump off these diamonds. These, this is the Keebs bounty. I put a price on Keebs head because he won't die. He's not on right now. Let's see, what else? Uh, the computer. Oh, it has a AMD A8. I forget which model, but it has a 3.2 gigahertz quad core. Meaning it's... I don't like how they handle those now. It's actually a dual core that has four logical processors. So it's technically a quad core, but it's actually a dual core. Which is kind of lame, kind of cheaty. But it works. I mean, it's already the most powerful computer I've ever owned. Uh, let's see what else about it. This is the weird part. I've pretty sure I remember the model. It's, uh, the video card on it is a Radeon HD 76, oh my god, every time, 7650, which isn't very powerful. It's an onboard video card, which by all means should be crap. Like, I expected it to not be able to record with. But then I started using it, and I realized it works perfectly fine. I'm able to record more smoothly on here than I was ever able to record with on the Alienware. And the difference is, is that in the past four or five years since I had the Alienware, those rail, those cards are pissing me off. Since I got that Alienware, 
the way they manage computers have changed. It's not about raw power anymore. It's more about the efficiency of the power. And it's working out pretty good for them. Uh, other than that, it has USB 3, uh, like 4 or 5, I want to say it's either 4 or 6 ports of USB 3. Let's see where I'm going. That way is the desert, that way is the ocean. Yeah, this is where I want to go. Let's see if I can get out over there. I'll take this block and I will put it back. So yes, it's not a very impressively powerful computer when you think about it. But this is where this is the interesting part about it, though. Oh, there's oh, there's spiders. That's not interesting. The interesting thing about this new computer is that it's able to record. I mean, if anybody uh, watches any Minecraft stuff. I assume you do if you watch me. Uh, you'll hear them go on about how they have uh, like GTX 560s or 600s in their in their computers, and they have problems recording sometimes, or they get lag, stuff like that. And from what I've experienced so far is that you do not need a super powerful computer to record games anymore. Uh, the graphics handling in games is getting better, meaning you don't have to... That's a horse. I thought it was a skeleton. Uh, the graphics handling in games is getting better with DirectX 11 and stuff. Uh, games are getting more efficient, and the computers are getting more efficient. So you don't need ridiculous specs to record games anymore. I had a $1,500 Alienware. It was pretty much the top of the line at some point in existence. And now a $500 HP computer from Best Buy, off the shelf, other than me adding a couple of things of RAM and my extra hard drive, uh, will record any game I have on very good settings, on decent settings at the very least, with no problems. I get no lag, I get good frames per second. So, so what's the deal? Why? Oh, untamed. Hmm. Why overpay for your parts now? Alienware is overpriced crap, for one thing, at this point. Uh, unless you want your computer to have crazy colors. Haha, uh -huh, can't hit me. Unless you want your computer to glow crazy colors, whenever you want it to. There's no point to it. I can play any new game right now on this computer. So why the hell would I buy an Alienware? It doesn't offer anything beyond that. Uh, the same thing with Apple. I mean, Apple is the peak of computing efficiency. Those computers can, when they actually can do something, they can do it better than its uh, Windows equivalent, which is impressive. But again, there's the compatibility problem of them not being able to do anything to begin with. Oh, I got a ticker. And then, there's this company that I'm about to say about, which is the reason I have this HP computer. I originally ordered a fairly customized 
computer, a desktop, from a company called CyberPower PC, which is kind of like a miniature, like a lower-end Alienware. A lot of the same like modifications like lights and uh, custom components and just a customized computer in general. I had originally ordered one of those. And then, of course, uh, I waited the week and a half for it to be delivered to the store so I could pick it up. And when I did pick it up, I immediately noticed that the inside of the box sounded like a box of Legos. Meaning everything inside it was rattling around. I was like, is something wrong with this computer? So I took it home, checked it out, and sure enough, the fan, the, the CPU fan, the most important fan of the damn thing, was not attached. It was, it was just rattling around in the case. So that's what the Lego sound was. It's a plastic fan made of pretty much the same stuff as Legos, just rattling around. And then, to top that off, when I finally do get the thing uh, put back together properly, and try to start it up, nothing happens. No post on the BIOS. Uh, no, no BIOS beeps. Nothing displays on the screen. Which means that that computer didn't work at all. I know exactly what was wrong with it too when I checked. Uh, slime. The computer had been put together by someone who was drunk and had no idea what they were doing. The CPU had just been apparently slammed down into the socket, bending probably 75% of the pins on the CPU, meaning that it did not work. It was never going to work, ever. So that rendered a $600 purchase pointless. So I made some calls that night, very late, because that's when the computer, that's when they said the computer had been ready for me to pick it up. It was like 8 o'clock at night when they close at 9, so I had to just go over there and get it, and that was it. I couldn't take it back or anything the same day. Uh, luckily for me, uh, Best Buy. All their customer service is open till like two in the morning. So I went ahead and called and explained the situation. And I had the option of either having them rush me a new one, a new one of those computers, which wasn't very appealing considering how well the first one had been put together. Or I could uh, simply just take it back to the store like you would in any no other normal purchase. That's a good bow. Yeah, so I had the choice of getting the same computer again, which would have taken about another week and a half, even if they'd rushed it. Which obviously was not appealing, because that company has no idea how to put together a computer. So I was like, nope, no thanks. So I took it back to the store, and I decided to just go ahead and look around. I was just going to get my money back originally, and go to a... Uh, a custom parts place. Uh, there's one here in San Antonio that they just sell parts, pretty much. And I was just going to go ahead and get the parts and put one together myself. But while I was at Best Buy, I was like, well, I'll go ahead and look around at least. Maybe they'll have something decent. And I started looking up the specs all individually on all the computers they had, the models. And... One, they had one that was kind of off by itself. 
Uh, it didn't have a display or anything. It was just kind of there. It wasn't set up for you to try out or anything like that, like all the other ones. So I'll go ahead and look up at its specs, because it definitely had uh, some of the things I wanted. A uh, quad-core, a terabyte and a half hard drive. So I went ahead and looked it up. And lo and behold, everything on it would perform at least as well as the stuff on the Alienware, if not better. Because the Alienware I had was physically limited to 6 gigabytes of RAM. It could never have more than that. It had three DDR3 slots that only supported 2 gigabytes each. So I had it maxed out, 6 gigabytes, that was it. Uh, also, if you remember, if you notice right now, nice and quiet, the Alienware had that liquid cooling system. It's like a first-gen liquid cooling system that didn't work properly. And the computer ran super hot all the time. And it sounded like a jet engine. And now, I have the same, I have better computing power than that thing did. I mean, the uh, the Core i7 I had in that thing had was a quad core with eight logical cores, so it was a it was a eight core computer pretty much. But they clocked lower than the ones I have now. They were it was a 2.6 gigahertz CPU, and it obviously showed signs that it wasn't going to work properly since the moment I had that thing. Like I said, it was always overheating. So when I wasn't using it, I just had to shut it off to save its life. And then... Uh, it was too slow for certain things. I couldn't run emulators very well. Uh, it would lock up sometimes just at random. Just a piece of crap. Oh, fell in a hole. Let's go caving. I didn't bring more torches. Is there coal right here somewhere? I thought I saw coal. Well, I can just get out. But yeah, even just the terabyte and a half hard drive alone, that was already three times better than what I had in the Alienware. Getting <laughs> just now gonna achievement I just reinstalled everything. The Alienware I had a six hundred gigabyte hard drive that I had already have to use it up, so it only had three hundred gigabytes left. With a 80, 80 gigabyte really old like first gen SATA for the for the operating system hard drive. And that did not work very well. Uh, a lot of times any anything running off the C drive would freeze every once in a while. Meaning even Minecraft would sometimes freeze on me. So I'd have to watch for that in case I was recording. Which is pretty annoying. Let's go get that coal, I guess. Use the gold one. See if it really does go any faster. Yeah, it's pretty fast. One piece of coal. It's pretty sad. Oh, it's lava. Big area. Hmm. Let's put a torch here so I know which way out. Oh, spider coming in. Comes another one. Hmm. 
do we get down? Guess so. Uh, look at this. That'll work. I just need more coal for now. I hear a zombie, but I don't see a zombie. It was down there. Damn it. I got a big hole in the floor. So yeah, that's that's my opinions on uh, the computer and such. If you're ever thinking of getting a new computer, uh, go with quality before price. Uh, go with a major brand, one that actually has some kind of customer support. And there's a lot of smaller PC companies these days, but it's kind of a crapshoot. You never really know what you're going to get with those. So anyways, that'll do it for this episode. I'm just going to keep getting some coal. And next time we'll... I'll go in a little bit about myself for once. I know I've been uh, kind of mysterious other than my whole I work at a college thing. But I can go ahead and... I, I can tell you some stories. I got stories. So anyways, thanks for watching. My name is JP and I will see you next time with more Life on Blocksteady.